707. Hope you guys are doing good, man. I know shit sucks right now. You know, they kind of locking everything down a little bit, especially on the way where everybody area code is. I know down here in, uh, in, the, in the city, uh, you know, they kind of locking everything down. They're not locking everything down. They kind of putting the curfew. They're not a shit. How do I, how, how do I see it? Uh, you really can't just be out and about like that no more. You know, social gatherings and stuff like that, which I wasn't doing anyway, but they kind of stopped that for everybody else, which is a good thing. I'm glad they stopped that. Like, you know, you know, being in a park, doing all this and doing all that with dogs and stuff, like, you got to stop that, guys. We, we got to do better. We got to protect our older ones and, and help everybody out in this pandemic, man. I know gas and cheap and a mother freaker. Hey, when I tell you guys gas has been cheap, man, you talking about to fill up my car? Oh my goodness. Look y'all, I've been on this, I've been on this right here for the last, let's see, it's, it's time for me to fill it up. But I've been on this tank since last month, like three weeks, for a whole solid three weeks in a Hellcat, guys. Man, when I tell you, the Hellcat has been treating me well on gas, guys. It has. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. I've been doing real good on the Hellcat. And yes, I've been opening up them, man, them horses. Hey, hey, guys, I'm gonna drop, hey, guys, I'm gonna drop a clip in here to show you how I open up. out the stable guys most importantly though man i hope you guys man this this just a video man just checking on you guys make sure you guys are good and i it, i know it's kind of hard to entertain keep you guys entertained with car car videos and stuff like that because certain cities i mean you it's pretty much shut down with everything so that's understandable and then on top of that it's just you know it's not too much really to do you know because they got restrictions restrictions on everything so if, if police see, see a whole bunch of cars meeting up together, uh, they're gonna shut it down, you know what I'm saying? Because you gotta be practicing the social distance. And and I understand that, and, but, and it just sucks that we're going through it like this though, you know what I'm saying? What we looked at as shaking hands, giving hugs, was being, wasn't a threat. Now it's a threat now to shake somebody's hand or, uh, hug somebody or something like a kiss you know kiss somebody on the cheek but i mean normally um you wouldn't randomly kiss no guy on the cheek or uh, no woman on the cheek i mean i don't know my granny still kisses me on the cheek but i can't even be near my granny you know what i'm saying and this sucks i'm I, anytime she needs me anytime she calls on to me like hey she need me to get some stuff out of her car she need me to do something for around the house i mean i go do it of course but i can't hug on my granny like i used to because I don't want to just, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Her immune system is not my immune system. You get what I'm saying? So we got to keep that in into play as well, guys. And it's, it's hard to keep you entertained with car videos because it's just like, it ain't too much to pretty much to do. I mean, some shops are still open, but some, most of the shops are still closed. You know what I'm saying? They're not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? And it just sucks though, man, because you know, we sitting here going through this bull crap, man. This was man-made. I don't care what nobody say, guys. This was man-made. If this can be stopped during a 80-degree uh, weather, this, this virus can be killed. This was man-made, guys. And this shit can be stopped. We just got to be smart, keep practicing social distance, and do what the doctor tell us to do. I mean, not what the doctor tell us to do. What the, uh, uh, what's the health board? Uh, shit, I can't even think of the name. But... Hey, we just gotta take, you know, take the advice and just do what we gotta do. Like you see people that playing basketball. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it, guys. But come on, man. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. That, and it's peaceful. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. It's peaceful. Go just go play basketball. Go shoot ball. You know what I'm saying? Now we looking at that stuff as a threat. Now you get what I'm saying? Like that's bogus, man. I hate that. 
I hate that, guys. With a passion, man. I hate that, guys. And now it's like they trying to make you stay in your house. It's like it's hard to stay in the house, man. It ain't really too much to do. So, and guys, if you know somebody that's not feeling good, that might be a relative, a family, or friends, do what you can to do to help them, but do not put yourself at risk, guys. Seriously. I know my daddy, man, he's been, uh, he ain't been feeling good lately, man. I don't know if it's that virus or not, but he's he's gonna go get tested. I keep calling him, checking on him, make sure he don't need anything, but I pretty much can't go over there. I can't go over there and hang out with him like I would normally do. I can't do none of that, you know, because my wife is pregnant, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta protect us, you know what I'm saying? So protect, call on your loved ones, make sure they good, you know what I'm saying? Those who you are, you know, you, know, you, you, you contact and you talk to on the daily. You know, make sure everybody good, guys. You know, it just sucks, man, that we that we going through something like this, man. Like, how is a hug and a handshake a threat now? We, a hug and a handshake was like basically showing you love. Now, it's basically showing, it's basically a threat. Man. Hey, guys. Damn, they missing their whole bump in the back of the Audi. Damn. That's crazy, boy. But uh, back to what I was saying, guys. Make sure your immune system is good. Make sure you get you some vitamin C, vitamin D. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see. You got your vitamin D, vitamin C. You got your, you know, uh, that's the main thing. Zinc. Uh, all these things are good for your immune system. You got honey. Take a teaspoon of honey every day. That boosts your immune system. Uh, elderberry. Uh, it can be the gum, the uh, the tablet, the not the tablet, but the uh, chewable kind, or the uh, the liquid kind. I have a friend that makes the liquid kind. Uh, she does. I haven't gotten anything. I still got the uh, chewable kind at the house, so I just been taking those. And you know, I take my fish oils just because I stay consistent with working out. But my workouts, you know, the gym is shut down. So I don't work out in the gyms, you know. So I work out in the stairwells, stairwell or the, uh, or outside in the garage where there's nobody really at. You know what I'm saying? And I've just been practicing social distance from there, guys. Uh, I'm about to go on Walmart now to find a bicycle to ride in the, you know, where my apartment's at, like in the garage area. Just, just to find something, guys, because, man, I mean, Yes, I'm taking proper precautions on everything, but at the end of the day, I gotta, you know what I'm saying, make sure me and my wife safe. And don't, remember guys, do not panic, guys. Don't go in the store and just buying up everything just to panic. Remember, we gotta think about our older ones, guys. We gotta think about our older ones. So just don't go in the store panicking and just doing that. Like, I don't know why the police is out right here. I don't know what the heck happened, but, What's going on? I don't know. Something fell off a truck. That's basically what done happened. Something fell off a truck. I don't know what's going on. Oh shit! Be nosy. Take your ass on. Go, nosy. He telling you to go. Nose ass. I uh, just nose it for no damn reason. Damn. Alright, my bad guys. Nose ass people. Shit. You know, you gotta watch out for nose ass people, man. Damn. Just nose. Like I was saying, guys, take care of yourself. Watch the clip. Remember, I let them horses out, man. I let them out the stable, guys. Keep yourself safe. This is just a video just to check on you guys to make sure you guys are doing good. Protect yourself and protect your loved ones. I'm out.